Imagine a world where trains glide silently through American landscapes, leaving nothing but water vapor in their wake. No diesel fumes, no overhead electric cables, no massive carbon footprint. Just clean, efficient power propelling passengers and freight across the continent at unprecedented speeds. Sounds like science fiction? Think again. While the USA has been sleeping on railway innovation, China has been aggressively developing hydrogen-powered trains that could revolutionize transportation as we know it. But here's the billion-dollar question. Are we about to let another critical technology slip through our fingers, or is America finally waking up to the hydrogen train revolution? The answer might surprise you. And the stakes couldn't be higher because whoever masters this technology first will define the future of transportation for generations to come. Most Americans don't realize how far we've fallen behind in rail technology. Once pioneers of the transcontinental railroad that united our nation, we now operate antiquated systems that would make our 19th century ancestors shake their heads in disappointment. Our passenger trains average a measly 54 miles per hour, speeds that would be considered embarrassingly slow in most developed nations. Meanwhile, China has built over 25,000 miles of high-speed rail in just 15 years, moving its citizens at speeds exceeding 220 miles per hour across vast distances. But even that impressive feat might soon look outdated, because both nations are now eyeing the next evolution, hydrogen power. So what exactly makes hydrogen trains so revolutionary? Unlike traditional diesel locomotives that belch out carbon dioxide and particulate matter, hydrogen trains combine hydrogen and oxygen in fuel cells to generate electricity, emitting only water vapor and heat. No greenhouse gases, no air pollution, just clean, efficient energy. And unlike electric trains that require expensive overhead cables and infrastructure, Hydrogen trains carry their fuel on board, allowing them to operate anywhere existing tracks can take them. It's a true game changer that offers the benefits of electrification without the astronomical infrastructure costs. Ever wondered why America hasn't electrified more than 1% of its railways? Now you know. The price tag would run into the hundreds of billions. Hydrogen offers a way around that obstacle potentially saving taxpayers enormous sums while delivering environmental benefits. The technology itself is deceptively simple. Hydrogen fuel cells essentially work like batteries that never run out as long as hydrogen fuel is supplied. Inside each cell, hydrogen passes through an anode, where it's split into protons and electrons. The protons pass through a membrane, while the electrons are forced to take a detour creating an electric current that powers the train's motors. Finally, the electrons reunite with the protons and oxygen from the air at the cathode, producing nothing but water. It's essentially reverse electrolysis, the same process we learned about in high school chemistry, but engineered to power a 300-ton locomotive. But if the science is so straightforward, why aren't hydrogen trains already dominating American railways? That's where China enters our story. In January 2023, China unveiled the world's first hydrogen-powered passenger train capable of speeds up to 160 kilometers per hour, 99 miles per hour. Developed by CRRC Corporation, the world's largest supplier of rail equipment, this train can travel 600 kilometers, 373 miles, on a single hydrogen filling, enough to cover the distance from Boston to Washington, D.C. Operating temperatures range from minus 30 degrees Celsius to 40 degrees Celsius, minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit to 140 degrees Fahrenheit, 104 degrees Fahrenheit, making it viable in virtually any climate across mainland China. The train represents a $23 billion investment in hydrogen rail technology, part of China's broader strategy to dominate green transportation globally. And they're not stopping there. Plans for a hydrogen-powered maglev train capable of speeds up to 250 miles per hour are already on the drawing board, with prototypes expected by 2025. Does anyone else feel a chill down their spine? Because this isn't just about trains, it's about technological and economic dominance in the 21st century. But beneath the surface, something unexpected is happening in America. After decades of railway stagnation, 
U.S. companies and researchers are quietly mounting a response that could potentially leapfrog Chinese technology. In California, a coalition including the San Bernardino County Transportation Authority has launched the first hydrogen-powered train project in the U.S., ZEMU Zero Emission Multiple Unit. While operating at more modest speeds than its Chinese counterparts, this train represents something arguably more important, American innovation awakening from its slumber. Built by Swiss manufacturer Stadler and powered by fuel cells from Canadian company Ballard Power Systems, the train demonstrates how international collaboration might be. America's secret weapon in the hydrogen race. The Department of Transportation has awakened to the challenge too, allocating $6.5 billion specifically for developing alternative fuel technologies for rail through various infrastructure initiatives. Private investors are following suit with venture capital pouring into startups like ZeroAvia, which is adapting its hydrogen aviation technology for rail applications. But the real game changer might be America's abundant natural gas resources, which can be converted to hydrogen through processes that are continuously becoming cleaner and more efficient. While China must import much of its energy, the U.S. has the potential to become energy independent through hydrogen creating not just cleaner trains, but a more secure nation. But let's pump the brakes for a moment and address the hydrogen skeptics. You've probably heard the criticisms. Hydrogen is expensive to produce, difficult to store, and the infrastructure doesn't exist. And historically, those critiques had merit. But here's what's changed. The cost of producing green hydrogen, made using renewable electricity, has fallen by over 50% in the last five years and is projected to drop another 30% by 2025. New storage technologies using carbon nanotubes can hold hydrogen at lower pressures, making it safer and more efficient to transport. And infrastructure? Well, that's where America's entrepreneurial spirit comes in. Remember when electric cars seemed like an impossible dream just a decade ago? Now they're everywhere. Hydrogen trains are following the same trajectory, but potentially at an even faster pace. The technology exists. The economics are rapidly improving. And the environmental imperative grows stronger every day. But perhaps the most compelling reason for America to embrace hydrogen trains isn't environmental or even economic. It's strategic. Transportation infrastructure defines a nation's capabilities and competitiveness. The countries that lead in transportation technology lead in economic growth, military readiness, and global influence. Can we really afford to cede this critical technology to competitors? Here's the reality that most policymakers haven't fully grasped. Hydrogen trains aren't just a nice-to-have green technology. They represent a fundamental shift in how we move people and goods, potentially the biggest transportation revolution since the internal combustion engine. They combine the efficiency and cleanliness of electric power with the flexibility and range of diesel. They can operate on existing tracks while delivering environmental benefits, comparable to a complete electrification of the rail network at a fraction of the cost. And perhaps most importantly, they address the critical weakness of our current rail system, its complete dependence on fossil fuels in an increasingly carbon-constrained world. America stands at a crossroads. We can continue to watch as China extends its lead in yet another critical technology, or we can reclaim our heritage as transportation innovators. The pieces are falling into place. Research breakthroughs, government support, private investment, and a growing recognition of the strategic importance of rail. But will it be enough? And will it come soon enough? The window of opportunity won't stay open forever. The race for hydrogen train dominance isn't just about who builds the first production models. It's about who establishes the standards, supply chains, and expertise that will define this technology for decades to come. And while China may have taken an early lead, the race is far from over. American ingenuity, when fully awakened, has overcome greater challenges throughout our history. From the Transcontinental Railroad to the Apollo program, we've proven our ability to achieve the seemingly impossible when properly motivated and resourced so the next time you hear a train whistle in the distance, remember that you're listening to the sound of the past. The future of rail will be quieter, cleaner, and potentially, if we play our cards right, proudly American once again.
To dive deeper into America's transportation revolution, check out my video on Electric versus Hydrogen Trucks. Who will win the zero emission freight race by clicking the end screen appearing now. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated on the technologies reshaping our world. Until next time, keep your eyes on the horizon and maybe on the tracks too.